year. Your Excellency, as a nation, we are sugar deficit in production. Hata tukipanua hii soni maratano, atuwezi fill that deficit. So occasionally, we have to import. I want to request you, do not allow importation of sugar in the hands of private profiteers. Establish a state corporation that will be able to import sugar and give it to distributors at the right price. The money that will be made from that importation to work kwa sugar levy, to work kwa e pesa zote za agriculture sector so that we can improve agriculture. Because there is enough money from importation of sugar. And when those barons import sugar, they do not help you, they do not help anybody, they do not help the people. So that is a request that we are making to you. Lastly, because other requests have been made relating to this factory, the workers of this factory during, during COVID, Your Excellency, these people worked for 10 months without pay. This community here, including myself, were bringing food to them to continue working. I know the workers are here. I know how motivated they are. I want to ask you, whatever approach we will be giving it, whether privatization, commercialization, there is one thing that we must handle. Our wafanyikazi, let them not be jobless. They are the ones who have been able to stand with this meal, including the MD. I know the MD. We MD atakuwa napata mshara. Na huyu ni mshiriki wa kanisa wa SD kila wakati na alikuwa naomba msaada kutoka hapa ili sisi zote hii mili ende. Na tuliamua kama hii community that the smoke of this factory must never die. So as we consider this, let us not forget about the workers of this place. Now having said that about sugar, Your Excellency, mimi ni mjukua mbogo keno. You know, when other people talk about privatization, land is a very sensitive thing here. I want to tell you, when I heard you speak in Uriri, and you said the land is not going, the spirit of Mbogo will rest. Na tutakuwa sawa sawa. Joturo winja. President no wacho kawa Nuriri, ni bido loss kambi ni nito lop jo pinyok no di ber, kose ok ber. Na... On that, we are together. We want it to be commercialized. We want it to be improved. But tafadhali, let the spirits of our ancestors not be placed in the hands of a private person who may not respect those spirits. Now, kando na iyo, najua wengi wa meshtuka at yochilo wako hapa. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters who are here, two weeks ago, all Azimio governors met in Mombasa and we had all our principles. Baba alikuwa ndani, Kalonzo Msioka alikuwa ndani, na tulikutana kule Mombasa, and we were hosted by the governor of Mombasa. Governor of Kisi was there, governor of Nyamira was there, governor of Kisumu was there, governor of Busia was there, of Kakamega, kila sehemu ambayo tulipigiwa kura kama watu Azimio. And we resolved that as a leadership of counties, we must make the constitution work. The constitution of Kenya allows voters to vote six times for six different positions. And it may happen as it has happened today, that the president was leading and is still leading what we call Kenya Kwanzaa formation, and he's the president of Kenya. It is happening as it is happening today, that the governor of Migori, you are sincerely Ochilo Ayako ni mtu wa mazimio and is leading the government of Migori. In order for these people to get services, we resolved as governors of Azimio that we cannot take the nation backwards. We will work with the national government and the national government will work with us and that works your siasa. We also recognized that multipartyism is here to stay. So, Your Excellency, I am happy. I know we have politicians here. Some of them, Wakisema, at least join the government, they are thinking, or people may think that we want to defect to the government. You have said it clearly, in crystal clear language, that you will serve the people of Kenya, irrespective of how they voted, 
irrespective of how they will intend to vote in the future, because the nation must grow everywhere and anywhere, because it's one nation, 47 county governments, and one national government. Ukweli ama siyo kweli wanainchi. Kwa hivyo rais tunakuomba, upate muda kila wakati, tembea pale rongo, walikuwa wanakuitaji, wamekusubiri ya wajakuona leo, kwa sabu program ni fupi. Hapa wendo umekuja, tunakushukuru, uriri umekuja, tunakushukuru, suna is, suna west, kuria is, kuria west, and that's how friendship is made. So that when you come back, whenever you want to come back and talk to these people, there will be a starting point. So I want to thank the people of Awendo for coming here to welcome the president and also for coming here and asking and requesting that they be served like other Kenyans. I want to tell our people just a few things. Recently, we started having our first flight pale airstrip yetu ya Migori na itu alichota. Wakati tulikuwa na hiyo airstrip ya Migori, we did not have a place for holding and handling customers. When your government and my government met and we undertook as a county government to put up that place, we did it in four weeks and the plane can now land and take off from Migori. The promise we got from your Waziri Murkomen, who is my very good friend, kwamba serikali ya Kenya imeweka 200 million ya kujenga a modern terminal. Tafadhali wakati umekuja hapa, expand that airstrip, iwe airport. Watu wa Kenya, watue migori, waende Tanzania, wa Tanzania, watue, watoke Tanzania, watue migori, so that we have a great place. So thank you very much, because when county and national governments work, watu wanasaidika. Your Excellency, I will fail if I do not mention that we are also among the other 47 counties that your government gave 250 million, and we also produced 250 million for county aggregation and industrial park, na inajengwa pale makalda. We as Kenyans in this part of the world, we want to stand on our feet, earn money, and also pay taxes. Your Excellency, I want to mention that under the same partnership, your government together with the government of Migori County are constructing a market at Riosir, another market at Ranen, another market at uh, Sibuoche, a market at Masara, a market at Wathonger, a market at uh, Nyabohanze, and another market Kulentimaru. This we must do because the Constitution tells us that it's the right thing to do kwa sabu hao wote ni walipakodi na hao wote ni wa Kenya. Tunaeza kutafautiani ikiviyama, lakini the common denominator we have been elected by the people, and these people want services, they do not want wrangles. Maybe there will be some other time to wrangle in the future. And that, is, uh, that brings me to this, Your Excellency. In uh, the discussions and dialogue in Nairobi, how what wanaingojia vile wakulima wanaingojia mvua. I want to request you, humbly, ask those who are involved in that dialogue, to know that the people support it, and they are very expectant. Our watu siyo watu wafujo, awataki vita, and they know we ukiongia na baba, ile mnasema italeta faida kwa hao. So, Your Excellency, we, as people of Migori, we are always afraid of thunder. Atuogo, tunaogo paradi. So, hiyo radi sitoke bombers, hiyo pige watu wapa Migori. Hiyo mvuakali, Na those hailstones should not come from Nairobi, ilete furugu hapa. Solve those issues in Nairobi, sisi vile tuko hapa, tukiwa kwa ODM, tukiwa kwa UDA, tukiwa kwa viyama vyote hapa Migori County, tuwe watu wa moja, na tuwelekeze ama tuendeshe Migori iwe mbele. Mimi ni kimalizia, tuko na waziri mvuria, and tuko na the blue economy along Lake Victoria. You are excellency, everybody here eats fish. That fish in your hakuna. So, Your Excellency, Muvuria Mbayo Hakuapa, Nilitembele Office Yake, and I met uh, his permanent secretary last week. She handed to my government a cooling plant, Pale Sori. Your Excellency, Kuna Pesamingi, a blue economy. Sisi Watu Asamaki, 
tunaomba when you are coming back kila sehemu hapa Lake Victoria tuwe na samaki and i'm talking about samaki many people may not know ukija hapa wendo hapa rongo pale uriri you may not know ukienda kila mama marja aswe krauso mena au soko seo kousi with that omena of 200 shillings ndio wanalisha au watoto hiyo omena inatoka kwa ziwa kuna fulu kuna obambla inatoka hapa so the trade and where that we are doing here ile biashara tunafanya ni ya kuuza samaki so that is what employs our people tafadhali tunaomba waziri tuko na gold pale nyatike lakini kuna uh, idara wizara moja ilitangaza hatio shamba yote ya tike is a forest your excellency people are living in that forest and it is not a forest it's county land so hiyo tuachie tu we have always looked at it hiyo tuachie tu hiyo ni ya wa migori wale wanataka gold waje wachimbe lakini watu wachie shamba yetu tukae hivyo au sio mimi sitasema mengi kwa sababu leo ni siku yako your excellency i just want to thank you for coming here and i want to ask you and request you because you are the president of Kenya that these visits that you have done that you have not placed the condition that somebody who belongs to a different party must come to this is the way to build a unified Kenya i should not be compelled to visit a public office and then be told that i can only be served if i belong to the ruling political formation So I am here on my own volition but I'm also here under duty to work for the people of Migori tufanye ama tusifanye Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ni kualike uje mbele hapa na kabla usimame rais wacha au ndio wasimame You know you are the president and we have one president and one baba Kwa hivyo ikane lwetu mwendo uruake president ma Kenya ka Mondo B Mondo Los Kuruji ya Dimoru wake wanege lwedwe rokamani Asante sana mheshimiwa governor tafadhali tuketi chini Ndugu viongozi wote wananchi wa hapa Awendo na wananchi wa Migori Hamjambo Amoso uja dhurua Ya dhurua untie Ya dhurua umor Jadhuru wa oil Bwana Yesu asifiwe <laughs> Hebu mnisalimie hivi hawani nione watu wa Migori Hey Naona mmekuja kweli Kwanza mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Migori watu hapa Wendo kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani Mimi nataka niwashukuru tena Nilikuja hapa Migori sehemu fulani fulani nikaomba kura zenu na mlinipatia lakini mlinipimia Lakini kwa ile mlinipatia mimi nataka niseme asante sana Lakini vile nilisema wakati nilikuwa pale uriri mimi nilisema hivi ya kwamba Tunataka Kenya tulifanya uchaguzi tarehe 